One of the most important features of the solar system uh, lights is the controller. Uh, the controller basically sends the commands to the lights and allows you to uh, control the spectrum at any given point in time. When you first turn on the controller, you'll notice on the screen that there are four different lines of information. Uh, the first one on top is the time. Uh, it's, uh, it says now in parentheses, so that's the current time uh, in military format, 1335. Uh, right now it's 1.35 p.m. Uh, the second line is the current setting of the various channels on your solar system lights. So R stands for red, W is white, B is blue. So in this case, uh, red is uh, red channel is zero, white is zero, B is zero. That means all the, light, all the lights basically are in the off position. Uh, the third line shows next. This is what's going to happen at the next uh, event. And the next event will basically set your lights to full blast in this case. Red is 99, W is 99, and blue is 99. The first thing I want to show you is how you go into manual mode. Uh, you see the button at the bottom. If you, uh, this is a touch screen, by the way. So anywhere you touch on the screen, uh, a certain function uh, will be uh, in effect. Uh, so if you go into manual mode, uh, you'll notice uh, three lines. Uh, each line controls uh, a channel. Uh, uh, the red one is on top, the white one is in the middle, and the blue is at the bottom. Uh, if you touch the on uh, button, then the, uh, basically the, the on goes to 99, and that turns on the red channel on the lights. Uh, if you turn on the whites, again it goes to 99. If you turn it on, uh, the turn on the blue, well, blue goes to 99. So this is basically full blast. All the lights are on at 100% uh, power. Uh, you can turn them off, one channel at a time and every time you take an action, you'll see the numbers change in the middle. Uh, there, you'll notice there are two plus signs on the left side and two minus signs on the right side. Uh, the large plus sign will increase the numbers by uh, an increment of 10. So for example, if we want to set the red channel to 10, we hit the plus button once, and it'll go to 20, 10, hitting it again, we'll go to 20, etc. And you do the same thing. And on the minus, it'll decrement by 10. Uh, you can also increase them by one, by uh, hitting the small plus sign and decrementing by one by hitting the small minus sign. That's basically the manual mode. Uh, if um, you want to set the lights into view mode, view mode sets the, red, the white channel to 100% or 99 and turns off everything else. And then when you come back from view mode, it'll go back to the previous setting. Uh, this is important for uh, cases where you want to see what your plants look like under natural light. Uh, so for example, if uh, you have all your lights on full blast, at 100% power, uh, the lights, I mean, the, the plants under this kind of uh, light setting may not look very natural. So uh, if you put it in view mode, uh, you can actually see what the plants look like in, in uh, you know, natural uh, white light. And then you can come back from view mode, it'll go back to the previous setting, which in this case was full dust. Okay, so um, let's go back actually and let's turn everything off for a minute. And let's uh, talk about how uh, the programming works on this controller. Uh, if you go into setup mode, you'll notice uh, four different buttons uh, uh, from top to bottom, and then there's a back button here, which takes you back to that uh, run mode. Uh, to, uh, the first one on top is the program editing. This allows you to uh, basically set events uh, at various times during the day uh, for the lights to do a certain thing, uh, go to a certain setting. Uh, you'll notice the second one is the set uh, fade duration. The fade duration uh, is basically the amount of time that it will take for the lights to transition from one setting to the next. Uh, we'll go over that in a minute. Uh, the fourth one, uh, the third uh, button is uh, set the time. Uh, this allows you to basically set uh, the, uh, the time of day uh, and, and save it. Uh, and all, all these menus will have a similar format. You'll see a large plus sign, a small plus sign, uh, and, a, and a large a minus sign and a small minus sign. So for example, if I want to change the time from 13.38 to let's say uh, 13.40, uh, I'll click on uh, the minutes and I'll increase this to uh, 40 and I'll say save and now the time is set to 13.40. Uh, let's go back and fix that time again. And if I were to put the plus sign, obviously it'll go 50 uh, and so on. So let's go back to 13.38. Uh, that's our time. And then uh, if you want to erase all the programs, the last button will erase everything uh, so you can start from scratch. Okay, so we're going to go back to setup mode and we are going to edit the program. So at 13.45, we transition to full blast. Right now the lights are off. And then we'll have the fade time set to one minute 
So basically at uh, 1346, it will be finished transitioning from uh, zero to full blast. So let's set this to 1345. Okay, if you touch um, anything outside of this box, it'll, you'll see that uh, the highlight goes away, uh, which means it accepted the number. Okay, so 1345, it's gonna go to a full blast, and then let's go to the next setting at 1346, uh, it's gonna go back to zero. Uh, one thing you'll notice is if you change one step, the following step will automatically go to uh, the, time, uh, uh, the, the time, transition time of the first step plus the, transition, uh, the fade duration. And the reason for that is because you don't want to go back in time. So each step has to basically be chronologically from step one to step two uh, increasing. Uh, that way everything makes sense when you program the, the system. Uh, you'll also notice that there's an active button. Uh, the active button basically says that this step is active. If you want to deactivate it at some point, you can uh, click it and it'll say inactive. It'll turn red. Okay, so then uh, let's go back. Uh, so step one right now says 1345. At 1345, we're gonna transition to full blast. And at 1346, we're gonna transition back to zero. And if we save this, we'll go back to the main program. You'll notice right now uh, we're at 1344. And at 1345, it's gonna transition to full blast. So let's watch this in action. Uh, you know, you'll see the, the time basically approaching the transition time and the system should come back on, uh, so start coming on uh, at the transition time. Uh, one thing you need to know is that the transition happens in 10 uh, equal steps. Uh, so for example, uh, right now we have the transition happening uh, from zero to full blast and the, transition, the fade duration is set to one minute. So every six seconds or so, you'll see that the numbers are gonna jump by about 10% of the full uh, transition uh, uh, you know, setting that you have. So we're going from zero to 100 in 10 steps. So basically every six seconds, it is uh, changing the settings by about 10. So it just went to 50, or midway through. It's about uh, 30 seconds uh, into the transition. Now we're back up to 59. So uh, after the full minute is complete, the lights should be on at full blast. The transition will always happen in 10 uh, uh, steps. So if you were to set the transition time to say 10 minutes, then you'll see the settings change every minute or so uh, to go from uh, zero to full blast. And that's done intentionally to um, you know, keep this gradual. And, and also it gives you a visual cue that uh, this is happening. Okay, you notice what happened now? So we went to full blast, and then because the second setting was going back down to zero, uh, you notice that uh, we went to full blast, which was 99, 99, 99, and now we're going back down, and the tr uh, transition time is also one minute, so we're gonna go back down to zero, turn the uh, lights off, basically, uh, in, in, uh, in a minute. So at um, 1347, uh, the numbers should read, uh, you know, RWB000. So with this simple program, you kind of uh, get an idea of what you can do with our lights. Uh, you know, every channel can obviously be set to any setting that you like. Uh, in the mornings, uh, you can start by having uh, the blue channel be a higher setting. And then uh, at noon, you can have the red channel basically be at full blast uh, and then go from there. Okay, so as you noticed, uh, as we approached uh, you know, 1347, uh, which took a minute to transition from 1346, uh, we went back to zero, and now it's showing you the next setting, which will happen obviously in 24 hours. Right now we only have two settings, uh, so it's showing you that it's going to go back on at 13.45 uh, the next day. But um, obviously this, this is not what will happen, and normally you will have other settings that will uh, take your lights to um, you know, uh, the settings that you like during that uh, transition time.